Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to mine Bitcoin in your own home. You too can generate millions of dollars with a very special Bitcoin miner called the Blockstream Jade. Yes, the Blockstream Jade actually functions as a Bitcoin miner. Now I did a full review on this neat little hardware wallet a few videos back, so if you haven't checked it out, check it out right here. But for today, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to install firmware on this device and set it up as a tiny little Bitcoin miner. Now, don't put in your order for the Ferrari or the Lamborghini quite yet because the chances of mining even one block with this little guy are mm, astronomically small. In fact, they call it lottery mining because the chances of you actually mining and getting the block reward using this little guy are next to zero and you're better off buying a lottery ticket if you want to get rich. But if it sounds like a neat idea to mine Bitcoin in your own home without sending your electric bill through the roof, let's dive in. I'm not going to get into the specifics of the Blockstream Jade hardware wallet in this video, so you have to check out the video from a few weeks ago. But suffice it to say, I really think this is a neat hardware wallet and you should check it out if you haven't already. And it comes in at a retail price of 65 US dollars, which is one of the most reasonably priced hardware wallets on the market. It is Bitcoin only. Well, it also supports the Liquid Network, which has Bitcoin on it and a bunch of other assets. So it supports Bitcoin on the main chain and Bitcoin on the Liquid Network, along with the other Liquid Network assets. But what we're going to talk about today is how to use this little guy to mine Bitcoin. A few disclaimers before we get started. Mining Bitcoin on the Blockstream Jade is for entertainment purposes only and educational purposes. You are not likely to make any money mining Bitcoin on this device. In addition, mining Bitcoin with this little guy puts a lot of wear and tear on the device and you really should use a spare unit rather than your main unit. Because if you have assets, particularly on the Liquid Network, you can't access them easily with any other device than the Jade. So if this thing goes south and you have assets on the Liquid Network, you're going to have to order a replacement and hope that it comes in a reasonable period of time. That being said, Let's move on to the setup. So here is a list of things you're going to need to mine Bitcoin with your Blockstream Jade. Well, you're going to need a Blockstream Jade, preferably a spare one. This is not a spare one, so I'm just doing this for demo purposes. You're going to need a computer with a Chrome browser installed because it, it facilitates the interaction of the Blockstream Jade with the mining application. You're going to need a USB-C cable to connect to the Blockstream Jade and whatever end is appropriate on the other side to connect to your computer. And you're going to need a stable internet connection. The next step is to prepare the Jade to mine Bitcoin. The firmware the device comes with is not Bitcoin mining firmware. It's just firmware that allows it to perform as a really good hardware wallet. So we need to replace the firmware on the device with firmware that allows it to become a little baby miner. And also that firmware allows it to function as a Bitcoin wallet as well. So let's go ahead and install the firmware on this little guy and get it set up as a Bitcoin miner. First thing we need to do is head over to the appropriate web page and find the firmware. Here we are at help.blockstream.com and then there's a long extension. I'll put the link to this page in the description below. Basically, it gives you, gives you instructions on how to set up the Blockstream Jade as a Bitcoin miner. It's pretty simple. If you look carefully here, you need a Blockstream Jade and you need to update the firmware. You do that by following this link here and then you can restore the original Cold Wallet firmware using this link right here. And that's it, <laughs> pretty simple. Let's go through this one step at a time. Basically, after you update the firmware to become a miner, you connect it to a particular web page, it connects it to the internet, and then the display lets you know that it's operating as a miner. It tells you what block it's working on. It tells you its hash rate. It's pretty cool. I'll show you all that stuff as we go. So the first step is to follow this link and update the firmware to the mining firmware. Here we are at jademiner.blockstream.com. And it says, update your Jade's firmware to mine Bitcoin now. Simple process will require you connect your Jade via USB. Okay, let's connect the Jade via USB and update the firmware. I got the Jade plugged in. I'm going to press update your Jade. It says connect the Jade. Now you have to select a firmware version. You can select one with Bluetooth enabled or without Bluetooth. After all, it still functions as a Bitcoin wallet 
but uh, it does give you the option to have Bluetooth capabilities or, or excuse me, no Bluetooth capabilities or a Bluetooth capability. I'm going to select the one with the Bluetooth connection capabilities just for fun. So I'm going to select this one down here and then I'm going to confirm the version and I'll show you the screen as it updates. Okay, here we are at the main screen. I'm gonna wake it up again. There we go. And it says uninitialized. So there's no seed phrase in here. I did a factory reset and it's ready to get updated. So I'm going to press confirm version on the web page and it says preparing for firmware update on the web page it says updating firmware and then i have to give it a check i have to check the box here you can see here it says minor firmware and updating progress i'm going to speed through this because it does take a little bit and we're done upgrade successful okay the unit just restarted and it says initialize or advanced. What we're going to do now is we have to add a wallet uh, to the device and initialize it with a seed phrase and a passphrase if we're going to use one, just like you would with any other device, with any other cold wallet. And I'm going to do that right now, and I will be back. As you can see, the web page updated. It says your Jade is now on version 0.1.47 and it is a miner. Basically what we do is we click this button to start mining. It's that simple. But before we do that, I have to add a wallet to the device. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I have added a wallet, including a passphrase, to the device. It says connect the jade to a compatible wallet at blockchain.com forward slash jade wallets. Well, there's a web page it's already connected to. So I'm going to acknowledge this instruction and it says, how would you like to connect it? Connect USB and it keeps going back and forth. So I'm going to go back to the web page and see what it happens from there. All right, the wallet and passphrase have been added to the device. It seems like it's ready to go. All I need to do is click start mining. Let me grab the device real quick. And then I'm gonna click start mining and see what happens. Start mining on your Jade. Screen hasn't changed on the Jade. Disclaimer. Odds of finding a block are incredibly low, but I am going to find a block on this video. Now, what we need to do is we need to fill out an address here where all of our winnings are going to be sent. So each block reward is around 200,000, maybe a little bit more. So I figure in the next 24 hours, I'll probably mine, I don't know, three or four blocks. So I need a really secure address. I'm going to go get one and paste it in here. Now I need to tell you that the address does not need to be from the wallet that you restored on the Jade. Just any Bitcoin address you want. It could be your buddy's Bitcoin address. It could be your business Bitcoin address, your wife's, whatever. But it does not have to be the wallet that you use to restore the Jade. Okay, so let's go ahead and paste an address in here and press start and see what happens. All right. <laughs> That's pretty unceremonious, but we are in business. We are mining block 865437. So the block reward for mining this particular block is 312,500,000 sats, which is exactly, at the moment, 196,415 US dollars. We're going to win this block for sure. All right, let's go ahead and look at the screen one more time on the Jade. Okay, here we are back at the Jade, and the writing on the screen is really small. It's hard for me to see, but basically it's, it tells us that we're mining block number 865438, I believe. Yes, and the battery is full because it's plugged in and connected to the computer. It has it reminds us of the very lucrative block reward, 196,000 USD, shows the hash rate that the device is doing right now, which is 79,000, I can't read it very well, 578 or so. And it also reminds you where your block reward is going to be sent to. So that's all that this screen shows is all of that information. And this is working as a Bitcoin miner. That is really, really cool. Now here's some tips and best practices to work with the Blockstream Jade as a miner. Generally, I wouldn't expect to make it anything using this little guy as a miner. In fact, the longer you use it, the more wear and tear you place on it, and it's probably going to die before you get any type of reward. But you never know. The Blockstream Jade continues to mine after it's unplugged. So you have to be careful of that because it will continue to mine the block that it's on, not realizing that 
the block has passed and been confirmed already, it'll mine that block until it runs out of battery power. Or you plug it back in and it gets more information telling it, oh, that block has already been mined. So it continues to mine unless it gets rebooted or it gets a message from its internet connection through the USB cable or the Bluetooth connection telling it to perform some operation as a wallet, which is actually its priority as a device. Even though it's got mining firmware on it, it still prioritizes its functionality as a wallet over a miner. So don't send it any information or requests because it'll stop mining. Let's go ahead and head over to mempool.space and see what we're looking at in terms of mining. Okay, here we are at mempool.space. This is the block it was working on, and now the device is working on mining this block. Unfortunately, we didn't win this block. Let's see what we missed out on. I'm gonna click this, and dang it, we missed out on $202,000. <laughs> but you never know, maybe we'll be able to mine this block. Right now, it wouldn't say the rewards, I don't think. No. The total fees are $5,000 on top of the $196,000, so right about $200,000 a reward we would get if we mine this block. Not so many transactions because they're gigantic. So maybe it won't take much hash rate to mine this block and we'll win it. And speaking of hash rate, this little guy is mining at a, with a hash rate of 79,554 hashes per second. What is that? Well, it's trying to solve a very large computational mathematical problem. When it does, if it does, it wins the block. The more powerful the computer, the higher the hash rate or attempts to solve this mathematical problem and win the block reward. The likelihood of winning the block reward with a 79,000 hashes per second rate is very small because the Bitcoin, excuse me, there's a company that makes, one of the leading companies that makes Bitcoin mining devices is a, a company called Bitmain. And their premier device has a hash rate of 255 terahashes per second. This does 80,000 hashes per second. The Bitmain ant miner S19 XP Hydro does 255 terahashes. That's 255 trillion hashes per second. That's why you're not likely to win the block using one of these devices. But it's possible. Checking in on the mining operations of our little rig. It's now mining block 865441. Same block reward, of course. The reward was going to be sent to this address. You can search for that if you like and see all my winnings. Hopefully that will have a lot of transactions on it. And when you're finished using this little guy as a Bitcoin miner and you give up, you can always restore your original firmware using this link right here. Let's go ahead and click that. And you'd follow the instructions right here. Connect your Jade, update the Jade, and you're out of the mining business. But a $65 investment to be able to mine, even if it's just for fun, is really cool. That's it for today, guys. Good luck mining Bitcoin with your new little Bitcoin miner. Congratulations on all your winnings. Enjoy your vacation in St. Bart's and get a house on the beach while you're there. If you like today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to let everybody know how much Bitcoin you've mined with your Blockstream Jade in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.